Y'all know I can't let my kids go one more day by eating a mess I tried yesterday. Mm-mm, because if I don't want it, I ain't gonna give it to them. But they liked it. So, I told y'all, I just didn't like the noodles. The chicken was good. So, I'm making lasagna tonight. All I put on here so far is adobo. And I'm about to put some more seasoning on here. I got my prego, 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 prego. Taste the best sauce right here with meat. And I got my ricotta cheese. Okay. And he bought a few of these. So he already had the stuff ready. So I assume that's what he wanted me to make tonight. <laughs> But you know, he would tell me the truth. I asked him. He was like, it was all right. So he didn't say it was good, good. So yeah, I ain't trying that no more. Okay, let's go ahead and drain this meat. I would not be surprised if my last video was on. Everybody's so creative. <laughs> oh, let me turn this down on low so I can drain this meat and then come back and put this sauce on here. Y'all should be used to the washer and dryer in the background by now. Alright, I'm gonna put my prego on here. And then get my pan ready for my lasagna noodles. Let me see. Making sure they ain't weak. Because we had some spaghetti um wheat noodles and I think I got those way back when I was getting weak. I still get weak right now. I just ain't want to reapply to that. But um yeah he bought a pack. I don't know if I'm gonna need one or two. Let's see. Okay come on pray go. Some people put the meat um the sauce on top of the meat now you could do it either way some people layer it when they layer the ricotta cheese and the um, shredded cheese or whatever type of cheese they use. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. And I always leave a little bit of grease in there on purpose. Make it taste better. So I'm going to mix this all up. And I picked up that little meat that fell in the sink and ate it. Sure did. Oh, I got my water over here. This is for my tea. And I would not order one of these off Amazon again because all the tea get in my cup. It sure does. Let me um, stir this up and fix my tea real quick. This is what I was fixing my man last night. He wasn't feeling too good. Yes, I go to the Indian store for all of our herbal needs, honey. Go, go, follow, follow the, um, what is, what's the word I'm thinking of? Just, y'all see Indian people, Asian people, like Japanese people, like Lonnie Grandma and all them people that lives to 150 years old, eat and drink some of the stuff they, um, eat and drink. You'll be just fine. This is just some of it. Lemon and ginger. I showed you that one green tea but I'm drinking some special tea okay um, if I remember if y'all are interested I'll let you know the website but if you got anything anything this website will cure it but legally they cannot say they can cure it just like Dr. Steven couldn't say he can cure stuff but he did but you can only you can drink this stuff when you don't have any diseases or sick or anything it'll prevent you from getting them just like when I brush my teeth, after I brush my teeth, I brush it with rubbing alcohol. I know some of y'all probably like, ugh, you'll get used to it, just like I did with the baking soda. But um, if you're interested, let me um, know. I sent Maya some tea because she has really bad um, cramps when she's on her menstrual. I read all the reviews. They say they, like, it was spectacular. They never had an issue with cramps again. Um, diabetics, um, if you can't have a baby, these are real reviews now, not paid reviews. Some people I know, okay? I don't want to get into it. But um, people that can conceive for 
five, 10, 15 years, drunk this woman's tea, conceived and had a baby. Listen, she's the truth. Y'all probably, some of y'all probably already know who I'm talking about. But um, yeah, she sells her teas in the jar. I can't even find the jar. I'm a, you know what, I'll be back. Check her out. This is not a sponsorship. She ain't pay me. Check her out for anything. Just look on the website and just scroll through page one, two, or three. I think she got two or three pages. And anything you're dealing with or not dealing with and you just want to be healthy, buy the tea. Buy the tea, honey. I'm telling you. Listen to me. I know a lot of y'all do listen to me. Some of you don't listen to me. But it's okay. All I can do is pass along the information. The Goddess Collection. Sometimes I mix it with my own tea, but it's good to just drink it like it is. And the tea that's floating in that is not gonna hurt you to swallow that too, honey. You could add honey or anything, but I suggest you if you have something, diabetes or herpes or HIV or cancer, if you have something, try to drink her tea straight, okay? Or if you're having issues, because Maya said, well, can I put lemon in it or stuff? Drink it straight at first so your body can get used to this tea alone. Of course, lemon and honey shouldn't hurt, but drink her stuff straight first. And then, you know, and I told Maya to drink it the other day. She's like, I'm not even on my menstrual anymore. I'm like, listen, girl, if you don't drink this tea so it can get in your body, even when you're not on your menstrual, just drink it because it's not only for your menstrual. But she does have teas dedicated to certain illnesses and diseases and whatnot. But overall the tea is still good for you like y'all know i don't get a menstrual but it's not gonna hurt me to drink the menstrual tea i promise you it is good for the body it literally it doesn't taste like anything to me so um if you can stomach that something tasting like nothing then you're good all right all right that's enough, enough of that let me get back to my lasagna i need my pan <clears throat> okay um i know it's only been a second since the last clip for y'all but it's been about 45 minutes an hour for me because i just had two unexpected guests um at first it didn't seem like it was going right i don't want to get into it right now but somebody showed up at my door um they was knocking on all the doors until they found mine and they came here with their cousin y'all know i don't like stuff like that i've been through a situation like that that's when i got that attempted murder charge you know and literally got locked up and the person came to my house so i don't like stuff like that but to their um to be fair i can't think of the word right now they did try to call me several times and they showed me and they called me in front of me and my phone was not ringing but um yeah it wasn't going right at first until I stood my ground. I said, listen, I said what I said. And it's going to be like this. You know, it got something to do with my son and his daddy and all that stuff. So that's where we're at right now. Um, but he's in another county. And technically, that's a violation of my son's probation. And I'll just say this. Y'all know my son gets a check. And everybody want money right now. Um, I know y'all don't know. When I told y'all I was robbed and I know who did it. Put two and two together. Girls, quiet, please. So, um, it's a lot going on, but I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't, don't come to my house trying to get no straightening and saying, hey, if he going to be in my house, I'm going to need his check. Baby, baby, listen, I would, like I told the last person whose house he was just at until she couldn't deal with him no more this past Friday, whatever he needs, I will get it for him and or i will give him his money but his daddy not getting a hold of that check because he won't do right by him when I, I the five years i had my son his daddy didn't give me not one dime and he was still collecting his ssi for five years five years you heard me right one two three four five still collecting ssi each and every month 12 months out of the year for five years and did not give me a dime for him no food stamps, no check, no school clothes, no haircut, no nothing. I did it by myself. I still have legal custody of my child right now. But as soon as he want to get out of control and run to your house, now you talking about you need his check. He ain't even been over there three hours, it seemed like. 
Yeah, I know I'm exaggerating, but like, damn, this happened right before Christmas. It's January 8th. And that should be restitution, baby. Restitution. You empty out my bank account. Ain't none of my children ever disrespect me like this boy has been doing these past few weeks, honey. And then this person that came over here because his dad is living with this person in a big house in another county. She was saying, um, you know, he need to be in school because dad went and tried to withdraw him from school today. But they got an alert saying, hey, mom got custody. Dad is not supposed to have him, blah, blah, blah. I said, you know what? I'll do that. I'll do that for him. I'll go ahead and withdraw him, even though he's already in violation for being in another county. But I shouldn't even do that. Because when I first got back custody of him, that wouldn't help me with anything. Because he had custody of him for a few years, and then I got back custody. Like, he wouldn't help me with anything with his insurance, his medical insurance. I needed information because I hadn't had him for a few years, so I needed stuff. He wouldn't help me with anything. So why should I help you now? Why shouldn't I just tell you to go fuck yourself and figure out how to enroll him in school? You a grown man. Figure it out. Like, y'all, I'm so stressed and pissed right now. And then he lied to these people telling him. He made up a story saying one of my daughters threw up. And I woke him up in the middle of the night. And I got mad at him because he didn't clean it up. What? what where did that story even come from did you really just pull that out your ass i can see if one of them really did throw up then you can kind of just make it up some kind of way nobody threw up and i don't even think the girls were here that night if they were they were sleeping while all of this was going on then you pick up a table and try to hit me in my head with it then cut up my entire arm listen honey once a child do all of this and I gave you a pass then, did not call the police on you, did not send you to jail, then you empty out my bank account and now I'm wrong for writing a statement, this person that came over here, don't do that. That's your baby. Don't press charges. Baby, I could have been press charges a lot that's been going on. I've been keeping quiet. I've never once raised a finger at my mama. I never once got in her face and talked back. Now, when I got older in a teen, my teenage years and I started feeling myself, and even in my adult early teenage years, like 18, 19, yeah, I was getting snippy at the mouth. But as far as jumping on my mama, talking shit straight to her face, nah, we used to walk and mumble while on our way in the room and stuff like that. But, baby, I can't deal with it. I'm telling you, I've had the most peace in my household since this boy's been gone i don't know where this comes from with you i do not know at all all you have to do is do your chores do what i tell you to do and you're good i even let this boy get in an uber go to his girlfriend's house go to his friend's house as long as you tell me where you at your chores are done you ain't got my house looking a mess you know took out the trash you know did everything you're supposed to do you can go wherever you want just be back by curfew Sometimes he's been out past curfew and I didn't even say anything because I knew where he was and I knew he was safe. But technically, he's not supposed to be out past 6 p.m. You have it good over here and you don't even realize it. My daughter Maya will tell you, like, as soon every time children want to leave, let them leave, please. Because when they see the grass isn't green on the other side, they beg to come back. But I have one rule. You leave mine, you can never come back here. You can visit. But you can't live in no more because I told you before you left. Baby, I'm sorry about the renting, but yeah, that I, I the last clip, literally somebody was knocking on my door and that's what I was dealing with. Um, I don't know. Okay, let me, let me get my um, ricotta spread it. And she also said, you know, after i was like okay you know i can't she was like well can you just like give a hundred dollars and she wanted me to drop everything i'm doing right now i'm like i'm cooking i just got home my kids want to go to bed she wanted me to go to the store tonight she was like well i ain't got no food in my house right now because you know i get stamps and each child get a certain amount of stamps every month so the last person he was with i was like you know i'll um i'll give you whatever amount he gets like for instance if he get because i really don't know i have to go look on the case if he gets $120 a month for him alone, I'll give them the $120, but I'm not giving nobody my card. Because she was like, well, I could just get the card and go to the... No, ma'am. I just got robbed. And my card was in my purse. 
And she was like, because I said, you need to compromise with me. Because I said, well, I can go in the morning. Well, it's supposed to be storming tomorrow. I ain't coming out tomorrow. And she seemed like she was irritated because I said tomorrow. And she was like, well, you got a couple of dollars or something. No, I don't have any money. His money is on a card. And he shares that card with his sister. His sister is autistic. She also gets SSI. I think these people think I get a whole bunch of money for him. I only get three hundred a month for him. Now, when his daddy had him, he was getting a thousand. I saw the paperwork. He was getting a thousand a month. So I guess it depends on how much you make already, you know. In that case, but um, I'm doing this with one hand, y'all. That's why it's looking a mess, and I broke that up on purpose because it was too long for it to go this way. But yeah, I'm just. I mean, it got respectful at the end. Everybody got cordial, but I, I didn't, I didn't like that. Like you badgering me about money, and I just told you whatever he needs. I don't care if it's toilet paper, deodorant, whatever. He's gonna have it. I'll bring it to you myself. Well, well, it's just not that. Um, what if I'm out and I want to um buy my daughter something, and then he ain't got no money? Okay, I'll give him his money then. That should be in the conversation right there, right? I'll give my son his money. Nobody else needs his money in their hands. And I'll make sure he needs he gets whatever he um needs. You know, I'm not just going to give him his money where he blows it. I'll probably use his money to buy his toiletries and all that stuff. And then give him his money, not all at once, though. You know, give him some money here and there, maybe $25, $50. And maybe he want to go get a haircut or something. And, you know, it's it's about that money. His dad, I got a text message. His dad even said, give me his check and I'll get him back. What? Nigga, they looking for you right now for fraud. You received his check for five years and he wasn't in your custody. I had legal full custody of him that was court ordered and you were still getting his check. I'm surprised it took that long, but I promise y'all it did. I had dropped off documents and everything to the SSI. I say, look, if y'all don't want to give me his check, that's fine. I don't need it. Honestly, I don't. I don't need it. But it helps, you know, but I don't need it. I say, but I want to let you know his dad is still, y'all are still paying his dad every single month. And y'all see that I have custody of him. Here's the paperwork from the judge right here. And here's my son sitting here right next to me, you know, even though that doesn't mean anything. I could have just had him for the weekday or something or the, whatever. But I'm showing them paperwork with my son right there. Like, ah. <sighs> y'all just don't know. If y'all got any advice, let me know what to do. Should, should I just go down to Social Security and turn the check over to his dad? I really don't want to because, like I said, when his dad had him, he didn't do right by him. He wouldn't even get him a haircut. And when he was having his check, um, no, when I got custody of him, he did not give me a dime and he was still collecting his check for five years and wouldn't help get anything please tell me what y'all would do because i mean it'll be easy i could sign over the check but q won't get anything you need i can guarantee you that right now i can guarantee you that right now and don't even give me the advice about cps because when he calls cps they show up to my house when i call him on him nothing happens so that's some good advice, but not really. But when um the last time we had court and they gave me custody, I almost said the judge name. That judge say how in the, and he had to stop himself. He say how in the, excuse me, how did he get custody? He was looking at the people over there at Guardian at Lightum and um some other I forget who they are CPS and some other people. He, this man hit his hand on the, he said, how did this man get custody? Do y'all see his record? Do y'all see the history? How did this even happen? Who did this? My attorney stood up and she said, a magistrate did it. Cause that's who signed the final paperwork and gave his dad custody and took him out of my custody. Those people made me look like I was the worst parent ever. Made up all kinds of stuff. If I'm such a bad parent, how do I still have custody of my other four children, but you remove one? Does that make sense? So you would leave four other children like in an unsafe place or whatever, but remove one? Baby, I done been through it. I'm sorry for ranting. I'm going to just get this done. Um, Next, I'm going to pour some of the meat on here. Y'all ain't going to see that because I can't hold the phone and do that at the same time and hold that heavy frying pan. Whew. I had to put another one right here 
because it would have been like a little gap. See? So it's kind of overlapping that one. And now I'm going to um, pour some of the meat. And then kind of cool down. So, and then spread this out. Might be two layers. And um, then I'm going to put some shredded cheese on it. I got to make sure this meat is evenly distributed. So I'm going to have to pour a little bit more, it looks like. I'm going to um, sprinkle some shredded all over. I think I was, was I supposed to put egg somewhere in here? I can't remember. I think I was supposed to mix egg and that meat. I don't think I got to though. And you can put the noodles on here raw. Some people um boil their noodles first. I don't. Um, it's gonna cook with the meat in the oven. I promise you. Okay. You take it out too soon, of course the noodles still gonna be hard. <laughs> But I don't boil them because I don't want my lasagna super soggy. It's like perfect to me when I do it this way. And I'm going to put one this way and it's going to be too long. So I'm going to have to break it like the little pieces you saw before. Okay, here's the long piece. And you see it's right on the edge of this. So I'll just break it a little bit. i just leave it there or whatever. And I don't think I'm gonna put an extra one right here. That's just a small gap. I think it's okay how it is. But yeah, I'm stressed. I really am. Because it, I mean, you can't tell me it's about money. If I was in this situation, I promise you, if I had somebody's child in my household and they received um, a check and food stamps, now with the food stamps, I'd probably say, yeah. This boy can eat. Please send me his portion, especially if you're still getting food stamps with his name on your case. Please send me his portion. But if he got a check, I'll say, hey, as long as you get everything he need, I'm good. Because he's going to be using my toilet paper. He's, he's going to be using my soap, my dish soap. He need clothes. As long as you keep your word and say, hey, every month or whenever, every other month, I'll bring him his stuff. And he needs special detergent. He needs special soap. You can't wash his clothes in any detergent. That's the reason he gets a check. He has a skin disease. Basically, it's not. it sounds bad when you say skin disease, but that's what they call it since he gets SSF for it. He has the worst case of eczema that you can have. So, um, yeah, like I would be like, okay, fine. As long as I ain't got to pay for nothing, you good. I wouldn't be ha like hounding you about a check. No, give me his check. Give me his check. I said, well, tell his daddy to go down to the social security office and get it then. Tell him to go up apply for it. He's not going to do that. And she was like, Shade, you know they're not going to give it to him. Exactly. Because he did fraud. And I'd be damned if I give it to him. And you, his friend, you coming over here being our buddy, buddy, he lives with you. This is a female. He lives with you. You think I believe you if I say I'm going to give it to you and you're not going to give it to him? Girl, please. Girl, please. Yeah, she was seeing us saying, oh, well, you know he ain't wrapped too tight. He ain't wrapped in the head. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I agree with you. I guess trying to get me to trust her and believe her. I said what I said. Y'all can go apply for his check. If they give it to you, good. But I'm going to make sure his daddy do jail time for getting that check for five years and not helping me with a dime. And couldn't get child support because I don't know if you guys knew. If a parent or an adult that, that has a child gets SSI or SSD, I think it's just SSI. I, I'm not sure. Um, you know you can't get child support? Because it's like the state paying the state. You cannot get child support, honey. No, no, no. Because in their mind, you know, like I said, it's the state paying the state. And he's crazy. He get a crazy check. But he wasn't crazy enough to make a baby. He played sane real well for a couple years, matter of fact, until I saw the craziness. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew that. I, at least here in the state of Florida. 
if you have a child from a man and he gets any type of government assistance that you cannot get child support oh look i almost put the cheese on there i gotta put another layer of ricotta you cannot and keep in mind his daddy wasn't in his life for seven years alani's daddy raised q i don't know if you guys knew that i was pregnant when i met chuck mm-hmm yes i was pregnant Here's the long piece. Let me see. It's right on the edge of this. So I'll just break it a little bit. I just leave it there or whatever. And I don't think I'm gonna put an extra one right here. So that's just a small gap. I think it's okay how it is. But yeah, I'm stressed. I really am. Cause it, I mean, you can't tell me it's about money. If I was in this situation, I promise you, if I had somebody's child in my household and they received um, a check and food stamps, now with the food stamps, I'd probably say, yeah, this boy can eat. Please send me his portion, especially if you're still getting food stamps with his name on your case. Please send me his portion. But if he got a check, I'll say, hey, as long as you get everything he need, I'm good. Cause he's gonna be using my toilet paper he's, he's gonna be using my soap my dish soap he need clothes as long as you keep your word and say hey every month or whenever every other month i'll bring him his stuff and he needs special detergent he needs special soap you can't wash his clothes in any detergent that's the reason he gets a check he has a skin disease basically it's not it sounds bad when you say skin disease but that's what they call it since he gets ssi for it he has the worst case of eczema that you can have so um yeah like i would be like okay fine as long as i ain't gotta pay for nothing you good i wouldn't be ha like hounding you about a check no give me his check give me his check i said well tell his daddy to go down to the social security office and get it then tell him to go apply for it he's not gonna do that and she was like shade you know they're not gonna give it to him exactly because he did fraud and i'd be damned if i give it to him and you, his friend, you coming over here being our buddy, buddy, he lives with you. This is a female. He lives with you. You think I believe you if I say I'm going to give it to you and you're not going to give it to him? Girl, please. Girl, please. Yeah, she was seeing him saying, oh, well, you know he ain't wrapped too tight. He ain't wrapped in the head. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I agree with you. I guess trying to get me to trust her and believe her. I said what I said. Y'all can go apply for this check. If they give it to you, good. But I'm going to make sure his daddy do jail time for getting that check for five years and not helping me with a dime. And it couldn't get child support because I don't know if you guys knew. If a parent or an adult that, that has a child gets SSI or SSD, I think it's just SSI. I, I'm not sure. Um, You know you can't get child support because it's like the state paying the state. You cannot get child support, honey. No, no, no. Because in their mind, you know, like I said, it's the state paying the state. And he's crazy. He get a crazy check. But he wasn't crazy enough to make a baby. He played sane real well for a couple years. Matter of fact, until I saw the craziness. Yeah. I don't know if you guys knew that. At least here in the state of Florida. If you have a child from a man and he gets any type of government assistance, that you cannot get child support. Oh, look, I almost put the cheese on there. I got to put another layer of ricotta. You cannot. And keep in mind, his daddy wasn't in his life for seven years. Alani's daddy raised Q. I was pregnant when I met him. And he just wouldn't give up. And I did not feel comfortable. I'm like, I'm pregnant. I'm getting out of this abusive relationship. I'm running. He stayed there the whole time and dealt with it. Me getting restraining orders. Me having to constantly move. And he went through all of that with me. He sure did. He raised Q from birth. And then to spite me, <clears throat> when Q was seven years old, he decided, you know what? I'm going to take her to court. I want my child, a baby he's never held. You know what? I take that back. Yes, he did. I think he held him once or twice. Um, yeah. But never, neither here or there. 
I'm stumbling over my words. Um, yeah, took me to court, got custody. I told this story before. It's on a live somewhere on my channel. I told everything, how he got custody, how it led up to it and everything. But just know you have seven years. I basically begged you to be a father. You never bought a diaper, never bought a can of milk. Remember Q, did, Q it wasn't no wick for Q. Q had to drink some of that. I think a long way down the line at the end, by the time he was almost off of it, wick helped me once I got the prescription from the doctor. But other than that, I was buying milk with cash. Then when I got stamps and wick, I got help. But um Yeah, baby. Not nothing. Now his mom is the real MVP. She made sure she would come about once a year, make a trip to my house. She would have a huge box, rather it was pajamas, diapers, toys, um, socks. She'll make sure Q had everything he needed, even if he didn't need it. She didn't know what he needed. She never called me to ask. She'll just come bring him a bunch of stuff. This is Q's grandma. She rarely talks. Some people I think she's like weird. Like she don't, she's not the loving type where she give you a hug and all that stuff. She'd be like, here, all right, have a good day. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, thank you, girl. But yeah, um, I still talk to all of them. His mom don't have a relationship with him. His grandma don't have a relationship with his aunt. The place where I had the yard sale, that was Q's dad's aunt's house. They don't deal with him. So if, if his own family don't deal with him, honey. And these people, I had to thank them at the end. Now, in the beginning, when they didn't really know me, they were on his side. And helping him get custody, lying for him, say, yeah, he lives here. This is the room that his son is going to sleep in. He didn't even live there. He was homeless. He was he was jumping around from hotel to hotel. A dope boy. You know, dope boy living life, you know. Because that's what he do. That's his career. So, they, Grandma lied for him and everything. She got a big, beautiful house. He never lived there. He was getting mail there. But she lied and told the people. Because, you know, when you get custody of a child, they want to see where the child sleeps and everything else. They want to see where you live. They want to see everything, you know, be all up in your business. So, they did that for him. Once they start seeing the real him and the real me, the sister, the auntie, the grandma, look. They wrote letters to the judge, begging the judge to put Q back in my custody. I shit you not. His family wrote letters to the judge to help me get custody back of Q. And they would call me, Shade, please get him. Please get him. He's not safe. He's he's not, his daddy not stable. He not. I told y'all this, but y'all helped him fight me. I told y'all this. But we saw the right judge, Lord. We saw the right judge, and the judge was so disappointed. And whoever um gave that boy custody, so you know, at this point he's fifteen. If you want to take me back to court to get custody of him, just cause you want to shake, that's fine. Cause at this point, I'm not fighting you. Like he can stay with you. He can stay with you. But why do we have to go to court? The only reason we would have to go to court, this boy would take me to court. I'm telling you, is to get his check. That's all he wants. He said it out of his own mouth. He said it. That's why he had him before. He was a, a cash mule because he was getting $1,000 and I still don't know how. Can somebody tell me that? Like I said, I think it's probably based on income or something because once I got him and they transferred that check over, that thing said $300. I say, oh, I thought we was going to be balling Q with $1,000 a month. We only got $300. Okay. But yeah. Let me finish layering this, y'all, and I'll be back. This is going to be a deep lasagna, but I still had a little bit of meat left, so I had to make another layer. Otherwise, that would have been too much meat. And I still got some ricotta in here. All right. So I'm about to pour the rest of the meat. I need both hands. So it's going to be some slices that won't have a lot of meat at the top. Because I really had to stretch that out. And I'm about to put the last layer of cheese and then put it in the oven. 
You over there leaking the ricotta cheese at the thing, girl. Mm. So I'm gonna clean this off. A little food around the sides. And my oven is already on and ready. All right, see you in a little bit, lasagna. So far, so good. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so the cheese won't burn, you know, like it's starting to right there. And the noodles can cook through thoroughly. All right, I turned it on like 200 and something. I guess y'all will see it whenever the first person fix their plate or if I fix some, but I'm not hungry right now. Okay, of course the lady just said they wanted some even though they just ate. Yeah, I can, but I gotta put the camera down. 